Hello, my friends. If you have visited my channel before, you know that I love pasta. Well, today I'm going to show you my favorite meatball tomato sauce pasta recipe. I will also be sharing my secret ingredient with you. Let's get started. Start by preparing your three cloves of garlic. Smash your garlic and thinly slice them. Now take a large oven-proof saucepan and pour in one-third a cup of olive oil. I'm actually using an oil that is seasoned with garlic and chipotle peppers. Now add your garlic to the oil and brown for 30 seconds. Then add two 28-ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. Now mine in the picture are smaller, but I have added some other tomatoes to total the same amount. Add a half a cup of dry red wine and then bring this mixture to a boil and then simmer to reduce the wine and cook out the alcohol. The flavors will remain in our sauce. Now let's add some spices. One teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, one teaspoon of salt, and also I forgot to show half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Stir that in and let your sauce cook for one hour. We will later add the secret ingredient. Now let's make our meatballs. Start by cutting two slices of bacon into small pieces and then brown it. In a large bowl, add a half a pound of ground pork or lamb and one pound of ground beef. Add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, grated or shredded. And then you're gonna add three-fourths a cup of breadcrumbs. Now I make my own breadcrumbs with just leftover stale bread and then I just run it through the processor. I store it in a jar in the freezer. Now add a half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper or cayenne, one and a half teaspoons of oregano, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, and an eighth a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. Oh, and one teaspoon of salt. Now add your bacon bits that have cooled down. You will want to add one clove of garlic that is minced or pressed. Add a half a cup of flat leaf parsley that has been chopped. Now let's try and mix this up some with a fork. This is just a prelude to when I get my hands into the mixture. Okay, here we go. I love this part. It's like playing with clay. It feels really good to me. Just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel. It is really helpful to me when you subscribe. Also select the black bell so you will receive alerts telling you that I have released a new video. And I want to thank all of you for watching my videos, and I hope you're enjoying and trying some of the recipes. Well, my hands are cleaned up, and it is time to add two eggs to the mixture. Let's not forget the fourth a cup of dry red wine. Well, maybe just a little more. Now mix it well. And yes, I am not going to miss the opportunity to handle the meat again. Now the meat is well mixed and it's time to make our meatballs. I make my meatballs into two inch diameter balls. Make up all the meat into the balls and then put three tablespoons of olive oil into a large skillet. When the oil is hot, add the meatballs and brown them on all sides.
Now the secret ingredient. Dark chocolate. Add two ounces to the sauce. I'm gonna let that melt, stir it in. And then let's put our meatballs into the sauce. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're covered with the sauce. You're gonna braise these meatballs and the sauce in a 285 degree oven, that's Fahrenheit, for two hours. You're gonna to wanna to put a cover on that pan. Now during the last 30 minutes of the braising of the sauce, you will need to start your pasta. I always like to cook my pasta to al dente. It has been two hours and our meatballs and sauce are finished. Yummy, they look really good. And the spaghetti is finished and I've put some in a serving bowl. And my glass of red wine is ready. So let's serve it up. I have added fresh basil that I've torn and topped on the sauce, and then some shredded Parmesan cheese. There, I think it's time to eat. See you later.